filtering the duplicate file list with Duplicate Cleaner Pro 5. Duplicate Cleaner has several powerful filtering methods for the duplicate file list. These are to be used after a scan is complete and allows you to focus on a smaller group of files. Operations such as the Selection Assistant will also work on filtered lists allowing you to break down tasks. There are several ways to filter. The Filter menu above the Duplicate list. The Right-click Context menu. or from the Find and List tool. We will look at the Filter menu first. The drop-down Filter menu is above the Duplicate Files list. Click on the button to see the list of filters along with any active ones listed. Multiple filters can be used together. The amount of filters used is displayed on the Menu button. The amount of files filtered is shown to the right of the button or below the list. The Refresh Filters button will refresh the files shown in the current filter. This is useful if something has changed. For instance, if a file has been marked. You can remove all current filters with the Clear Filters button. The top section contains filters for marked files. There are several filters, but only one can be used at a time. Marked. This will show all files marked. Not marked. This will show all files that are not marked. Group has mark. This will show all groups where one or more files are marked. Group has no marks. This will show all groups where no files are marked. Group has some but not all marked. This shows groups which have one or more files marked, excluding groups with all files marked. Group has all marked. This shows groups where every file is marked. This is an important filter to check to prevent accidental file loss. Protected. This filters to all files which have the protected flag. Group size filters. Groups containing between X and Y files. This filter will only show groups which contain the number of files between a specified range, for example, between 5 and 100 files. Groups with files between X and Y file size. This filter will only show groups in which the total file size for the group is between a specified range, for example, 100 megabytes to 1 gigabyte. Note this is filtered on the total group size not on the individual file sizes. Click on the gear icon to edit the size range. File size filter. File sizes between X and Y. This filter shows only files between a specified file size, for example 100 megabytes to 1 gigabyte. Preset filter. This will filter by preset file types, such as documents or photos, based on their file extension. Presets can be combined. These preset categories can be edited in the Settings tab in the Presets section. Show all files in filtered groups. This is not a filter in itself, but a setting that affects the other filters. If this setting is checkmarked, then whenever a file is shown within one of the other filters, the whole group is now also shown, despite the fact that other files in that group may normally fall outside the filter. This has many useful applications. Here are a few examples. Filtering by a certain folder and then showing the other folders in groups that contain that folder. Filtering by a certain file type and then seeing what other file types it has been grouped with. Filtering by a certain word or phrase in the file name and viewing the complete groups where it occurs.
Context Menu Filtering By right-clicking on a file you get the duplicate files context menu. This has several filtering options related to the currently selected file or folder. Filter to selection is useful for creating a filter for the currently selected files. There are other filters too, mostly self-explanatory, including filtering to the selected folder, group or file type. Search filtering. You can filter from the find and list tool. Type a phrase into the search box and click the use as filter button. You can select which column you want the filter to apply to. This filter is often handy when used in combination with the show all files in filtered groups setting mentioned earlier. Using the Selection Assistant with Filters The Selection Assistant will work within the currently active filters. When active you will see the Within Filtered Files label displayed. So as you've seen there are many ways to filter with Duplicate Cleaner Pro. Happy cleaning!